So what is the real difference between hot and cold wallets? And why do we even call them hot and cold wallets? Also, what happens if you lose your cold wallet? You have to note that you will need both a hot and a cold wallet in your investment strategy. What is a hot wallet? In short, a hot wallet is anything that is connected to the internet at all times or that is online. These include online wallets, desktop wallets, cell phone wallets, and obviously browser wallets. Hot wallets can be custodial and non-custodial. Hot wallets are always connected to the internet and thus they are very, very vulnerable to attacks. Well, hot wallets are usually very similar to banking apps. This makes them really easy to use for beginners and they are usually free as well. So usually it's the place to start if you're starting new in crypto. Because if you know how to use your banking app, you can use a hot wallet and it's as easy as that. Hot wallets are also aimed for high frequency use. So if you want to check your wallet, you want to check your balance every five seconds, you want to know what's going on, a hot wallet is the way for you. It's also really, really good for trading. Examples of hot wallets are Exodus, Coinbase, Metamask, Luno, Valar, and basically anything that is on the internet. Links to some of these wallets are in the description below. What is a cold wallet? Well, in short, a cold wallet is anything that is not permanently connected to the internet. These include USB wallets, paper wallets, offline software wallets, and wait, wait for this one, even sound wallets. Yes, you heard right. You can translate your 12 word recovery phrase into a specific sound that can be heard by this specific wallet and that can be used as your crypto wallet. And how cool is that? Something that, to note that is very important, and this is the good thing, is that offline wallets can only be custodial, which means you need the 12 word recovery phrase of your wallet to be able to access them, which is brilliant. And the reason for this is the 12 word recovery phrase is always saved on the wallet itself, which means your money is on the paper or on the USB or on whatever you use as a cold wallet. So take care, don't lose these wallets because if they are gone, everything is gone. Cold wallets are only connected to the internet when you are busy using them to either put money into them or transfer money out of them. Thus, they are less vulnerable to attacks However, they can still be hacked. Cold wallets are aimed for setting and forgetting. You use these wallets to hodl. You do not want to trade from these wallets. You want to put money into this wallet and let it go for the long term. Examples of these wallets are Trezor, Ledger, Safebell, or Keystone. However, there are many more. Links to some of these wallets are also in the description below. So as you can see, you need a hot wallet and a cold wallet in your investment strategy because both of them address different areas of any good investment strategy. So if you want to know how to allocate your assets properly for a good investment strategy, watch this video right here.